This is how it fucking starts. You have a friend with a vape. You're like, oh, I kind of want to hit that vape. And you're like, it's fine. I'm not going to get addicted. I'm just hitting the vape once. A month later, you're thinking about that vape. You're thinking about that vape really fucking hard. You can't stop thinking about that vape. Or you can call up your friend and be like, yo, can you get your older bro to fucking get me a, 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 a vape? Like, you don't, you never think you're going to get addicted to anything. And then you do and it's like, whoops. Not even once. Literally, not even once. Here's a list of things that you can do instead of smoking marijuana. For any of my family members out there watching, this video is just fiction. <coughs> it's a literary genre of fiction. And sorry I haven't called you in two years. I fell asleep. Throughout this video, I will be replacing the word weed with soup. Just one more thing that's just so great about soup is that it won't get me demonetized. This video will be about soup. My first experience with soup was with a guy I had just met named Carter, I was like 15, and he hooked me up with his soup plug. I texted the soup plug on Snapchat and soup plug was like, yo, meet me at this location that's very far away from the city at this parking lot by this abandoned business and I will be there with my car with the soup. And I was like, yeah, sounds great. What time works best for you? Met up in the parking lot and he pulled up with his car and he was alone and he rolled down the window and he looked at me and he said, are you stinky? And I said, yeah, I'm stinky. And he said, cool, get in. And I got in. The moral of the story is I did not need the soup. We drove to another parking lot and he gave me good soup and I gave him money. I could have gotten kidnapped. I could have gotten, there's so many things that could have gone bad, but he just gave me the soup and I went home. And we used to go under the bridge, crossed over a river and we'd just kind of sneak around the railing and go under the bridge. And that's where we would eat soup. We went there a lot, I started missing classes because I really, really liked to go eat soup. My, at the time, boyfriend and I went down to the soup spot this one summer and a human it was definitely a human had taken a gigantic shit just in the middle of the soup spot absolutely killed the vibe i started going to a different school and at that school i would go eat soup in a field that was nearby then i moved out and i started eating soup a lot i started like eating soup for like every meal type thing. I couldn't stop thinking about soup. I was, I was getting a little bit dependent on soup. A side effect of having too much soup is uh, existential crisis. Soup made me question my identity as a person. So I laid off the soup for a little bit. The, the bad thoughts started coming back and I was like, yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. And then I remembered the reason why I started eating soup in the first place. Soup made me fucking happy. So fuck it, I'm gonna eat soup. Like, yeah, I might I might be stupid for soup, but like, the soup didn't make me mentally ill. I was mentally ill before I started eating soup. If, if you have a problem with soup though, obviously you know you have a problem. And at some point in time, I knew that I had a problem. And so I laid back. And it's not something that controls me. It's not something that prevents me from like going out with friends or getting my work done. You, you can only soup, you can't unsoup. Soup only goes forward. If you think you have a problem, you probably do, but it's okay. One of the more cold turkey ways to quit soup is to actually just break your soup pot, get rid of the pot in which you make the soup. So you won't be able to make soup anymore. You're gonna have to get pre-made soup, which is a lot more fucking expensive. The point I was failing to make was go. that if when you, you do, get store-bought soup, it doesn't really, have really that really so home soup, spice right? to it. This video is I'm not a soup enabler. I don't enable soup. However, if actually, if you are a family member watching this video, I lied about it being fiction. It's real. This is non-fiction. Your boy eats fucking soup, unfortunately. I live in Canada. Soup is a big part of the culture. I'm not sure about other provinces and shit because I don't live in all of them. Where I'm at, all my homies love soup. It is the way that it is because capitalism, people want to revert to monkey brain once in a while. There's so much going on all of the time that sometimes just a little bit of soup makes 
one or two hours just a little bit more bearable. Fucking ugh. Sometimes you might see a, ba a bong in my videos. Who is this video for? Like specifically three people. This video is for three people who don't have access to the internet and don't own computers. They have fax machines. Um, this is pointless, but you know what? So is fucking everything else. Like there's not, there's not really a point to anything anymore. I've, I've been, I've been trying to embrace the pointlessness because it's funny.